first of all, I really believe that women should stay women. I think we should dress like women. That's my opinion, at least. Uh, and men can feel that we are different. Why not? Secondly, uh, I've already talked about language. I really think this issue is underrated. People want to listen to leaders who you can trust and with a language which goes to your heart. And I think this is really important. And so I tried not to change my language um, at the top of a company, which is quite difficult because you are part of a big shareholder group, etc. And there are expectations and, you know, some CEOs have other other preferences as to the way you should behave and you should talk, etc. But I really believe it's important to find your own style and to stick to it. But at the same time, of course, there are rules within the company. There are certain patterns you should follow. And you have to get a feeling um, how to behave. What, or in particular, and um, what I have in mind is there is a certain, a certain group, in particular, very young women, very self-confident. And you keep on talking about career, 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 career. And sometimes they forget that, first of all, leaders look for people and managers who solve problems and not who create problems. Um, and here and there, uh, this is a tricky issue and I want to be very careful, but sometimes women, in particular very young women, overpace um, a little bit in the way they um, Mm, in the way they try to promote their own career. So c coming back to the question of, authentic, uh, of authenticity, it's really important to find the right measure, the right way to present your personality. 